Biggest Things Ever Stolen An Airplane Imagine stealing an entire plane? Sounds impossible right? But in 2003, two men stole an entire Boeing 727 right off the runway of Quattro de Fiveiro Airport in Luanda, Angola. Without any communication with the air traffic or any clearance to fly, it took off the runway without any lights on. The FBI searched for the plane all around the world for years but could never find it. Two men were spotted boarding the flight of which one was an American pilot named Ben C. Padilla and a mechanic named John M. Mutantu. They had been helping in the renovation process of the plane for months. The plane was never found. A Dinosaur the ordeal began when a man from Florida named Eric Procopi brought the fossilized skeleton of a Tyrannosaurus batar which is a relative of the T-Rex, from Mongolia to the UK, and then to the US. Procopi auctioned off the dinosaur bones for over a million dollars. But, when the Mongolian government became aware of the skeleton's true origin, they prevented the sale. The police later arrested Procopi for smuggling illegal goods and possession of the stolen property. He spent three months in jail and the bones were sent back to Mongolia. A Cedar Tree How about stealing a tree? Not just any tree, a red cedar tree. In 2012, a group of poachers planned to steal a particular red cedar tree from Vancouver Island. It was 800 years old and was 9 feet wide at the base. It was very difficult to cut the tree so the poachers left it halfway through. Later when the forest rangers saw the uncut tree, they safely felled it so no unlucky hikers would get hurt. But to their surprise, after the tree was felled, the poachers came back and stole the whole tree and went away. The thing to baffle is, how did they transport such a giant tree? A Monastery Bell At a temple in Tacoma, Washington, in 2015, enlightenment came by letting go of material objects. This particular type of enlightenment was much more literal than usual, as it involved the loss of a 3,000-pound, 12-foot-tall copper monastery bell. Police were baffled as to how thieves managed to steal the enormous bell. The monks commonly use bells to signify the beginning of meditation, making them highly sacred to Buddhist monks. The thieves likely melted the bell down to sell the copper or may have turned to the black market for a buyer. A Church The holy building had stood in the village of Komarovo since 1809 and the thieves hauled it off brick by brick. The theft went unnoticed, as they weren't using the church at the time. The church was located in a remote part of town and when the church officials were planning to use the building, to their surprise it was gone. All that was left was an open-air foundation. A Fighter Plane In the 1980s, in Tel Aviv, Israel, Major Arye Yitzhaki was restoring a World War II Mustang fighter plane for the Israeli Air Force. The plane was parked in a reserve airfield and was to be transported to the Air Force Museum. But then the unexpected happened, Major Yitzhaki flew the plane to Sweden and sold it for $331,000. After six years the plane was finally tracked down and the Major paid for his crime. A Bridge Some build, some burn, and some steal bridges. This was the case when two men in China were arrested for stealing a 100-year-old bridge. Since the bridge was surrounded by construction sites and had very little foot traffic, it was an easy target. A police investigation began after an eyewitness saw the culprits lingering near the bridge with a truck one night, the police were able to track them down. The thieves confessed that they'd used two cranes and two trucks to pick up and move the 16 huge stone pieces that made up the bridge. A ship The ship, called the Aris 13, had decided to take a time and fuel-saving shortcut through what's known as the Socotra Gap. They soon regretted the shortcut after their ship got hijacked by local Somali pirates. 
Once the pirates realized the tanker was under the employ of prominent Somalian businessmen, who Somali pirates tend to avoid tussling with, they released the crew and later the ship, without ransom.